filming this because this room is filled with kayaks. Um, just really, really cool kayaks. Um, Northwest, Hudson Bay, all from North Territories. Really, really cool stuff that I haven't seen since I left British Columbia and Alaska. Um, I was wondering if this museum would represent that well, but it represents very well. Probably, oh man, you can see the skins on that one. But if you figure the further north you went, the smaller the trees were. And maybe no trees. You can see that they really kept the amount of wood down to a minimum. By the way, it's the light. Um, maybe you can see them better this way. I've got this whole place to myself. I'm the only person in here besides the staff. Which is kind of a shame. Some of the canoes I saw, they had one from the Macaw, which would be the Olympic Peninsula that they used for whaling, which really also surprised me, um, pleased me, the representation. This is really a national North American canoe fest place. It's really cool. Definitely worth the trouble to find it. very dark over here, but here's the Macaw whaling canoe with the sails, which was perfect for chasing a whale at the mouth of the straits, probably off of a push. I don't know what they use today. I'm sort of digging this one. I just gotta say it, and I'm gonna shut this off. But this is the uh, honeymooner canoe. Very few were made, but before you had the iPod, you had the record player in the Ford cockpit, and the gentleman would seat. Oh, and actually in the stern, and the gentleman would seat there and paddle, play records, and well, that probably is anyway. I don't know which is which. And then the lady would recline facing the gentleman. It's really quite nice. With the sailing rig in the back one. 
That's sweet too. Okay, I gotta go to the gift store now. Bye.